Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 36 of Let's Play Okami HD. Alright, we're in this spot of the uh, commoner's quarters, and there's a bunch of little girls there. They're just drawing. Yeah. La la la! Drawing! Drawing is so fun! What do you think, doggy? Do you like my picture? Hey! Haven't I seen that somewhere before? Huh? Oh no! I ran out of charcoal! Oh, is that my mask design from a uh, moon cave? And I was having so much fun! I want to draw another picture! I want more charcoal! Ooh! Is that charcoal you got there, doggy? Give it to me! Give it to me! Give me that charcoal! Uh, sure, you little spaz. Take it. Yay! Thanks, doggy! Now I can draw another picture! Come back and see it, won't you? Uh... Okay. I'm not some ordinary kid, you know. I'm a fashion whiz. I just know what design will be the next big hit. Hmm. I wonder what it will be this time. Looks like a star symbol. Interesting. I wonder if I should uh, show somebody that design. There should be some kind of clothing shop nearby. I don't remember if it's this place or not. No, I don't think it is. Yeah, I think it's just over there where Chameleon and them are. If I'm not mistaken. So we'll head over this way next. Is this the kimono shop? I don't think so, but we'll see. Not a scroll shop. That rumor's been a real blow to business, I can tell you. You see that row of willow trees outside our shop? People say a strange ghost appears there at night. Not that it seems to do anyone any harm, mind you. That's just my hubby's laziness, so that's bad for business. Maybe you could go give him a good talking to, eh? <laughs> I think I already talked to you once. Or maybe that is a kimono shop. Kind of vending, they were probably... They were just rolled up. I thought they were like scrolls or something. Hello? Hmm, this is a real puzzle. Oh, hello, white doggy. Want to keep an old worrywart company? I run this kimono shop, you see. But I feel it's time for a change. I'm getting a bit sick and tired of seeing the same old colors. I was trying to think of an exciting new design. Alright, Mr. Sheik. The thing is, it's not quite as easy as I hoped. I'm at such a loss. I'm tempted to ask you for help, doggy. Oh, hang on. Do you think it could help me come up with a new design that could catch on all across the city? Take a look at that kimono back there. I found one that simply by staring at it, one can draw inspiration. Yes, surely staring at it is the way to go. It's simple. Could draw that simple that girl was drawing. Oh, I think I fucked up the star. Oh no, I didn't! What? Good heavens! How did the design end up there appearing all by itself? Maybe my inspiration worked on the kimono after all. If the design miraculously appeared from the kimono being stared at, then maybe my inspiration is taken on a sort of divine quality. In that case, I could probably come up with something even better. Here goes! You can lend a paw too, white doggy. Okay, are you ready? Look hard at the kimono. Your head will doubtless be assaulted by inspiration. Let me see if I can draw a better one. Yes! Yes! That's it! There it is. A vision right there in all its glory. An exquisite texture born of primitive force. And another design original beyond belief. That pattern almost looks as if it could make something happen. You certainly show great skill at this, friend. Alright, so I think that was the highest compliment I could give. Or receive, given that, uh, chime. 
Someone let the little girl know that, hey, you know that design you were thinking of? Uh, I read your mind, so therefore you have no privacy to your own thoughts. But hey, it'll make some guy money. I'm sure he'll appreciate or she will appreciate that. <laughs> I think it was this one on the on the right there, correct? Yeah, she's drawing it right now. Look, doggy! Isn't it pretty? This is my latest pat design. The star pattern. If you look up the stars at night, you forget all your woes. That's an ordinary kid, you know. I'm a fashion whiz. I always know what design will be the next big hit. Hmm, I wonder what it'll be this time. Oh, it's a heart. Okay. I guess I'll have to go back to the kimono shop each time. Oh, that's gonna be tedious. To do that every single time now. Well, if it's gotta be done, it's gotta be done. Alright, let's go do that next. I'm pretty sure I can draw a heart easily, right? <laughs> oh, you got another blank canvas. Oh, you're back, White Doggy. I've been hoping to come up with a more novel design. So I've been attempting a bit of design psychography, so to speak. It just doesn't seem to be working anymore. I know. You can let a paw again and see if that helps. Maybe a bit of your passion mixed with my own will do the trick. Okay, let's get right to it. Look hard at the kimono. Your head will doubtlessly be assaulted by inspiration. Yes, yes, that's it! There it is! A vision right there in all its glory! An exquisite texture born of a primitive force. And another design original, beyond belief. I'm on a roll now! Make hay while the sun shines, I say. You'll help me again, right, little dog? Alright, I think I might need to draw it a little bit better. I think that worked just fine, right? I don't know if it has to be perfect. So let's try to talk to the little girl. Maybe she's got a new symbol in mind. If not, then I'm gonna have to draw that heart again. That's a bit finicky if that doesn't work. I hope it does. Oh, she's already drawing it. Next. Oh, she still wants the heart, so I didn't do it correctly last time. What? That ain't right. I did that correctly, like, twice. Alright, I'm back. I had to, like, literally look this up on YouTube. And, you know, other sites. It felt so stupid that, that I didn't think of this before. Start from the bottom instead! Yeah, why didn't I start from the bottom first? There! It actually worked! I was doing it wrong every single time because I started from the top! Oh my god, I feel like such an idiot now. Good lord. And I don't want that girl going away from me, okay? So let's just make it daytime again. Like, give it a fresh day. All these people will never get to enjoy a good night's sleep. As long as I'm around. Look, doggy! Isn't it cute? This is my latest design! The love pattern! I wonder if dogs understand what love is, though. So, oh, they always understand love. Always give dogs love. What's it gonna be this time? Oh, a V? Oh, I can draw a V. If you can't draw a V, you might as well just saw off your hands now. 
Good lord. <laughs> I'm pretty sure a V is easy to draw. I'm just gonna throw it out there, okay? Like, I can understand messing up a heart if you're always starting from the top and, you know, switch to the bottom. But come on, a V? I don't know why I wasn't pressing start the first time. Like, it doesn't have to be perfect, right? There! First try! I can keep my hands! I was literally gonna put my hands on the line. Okay, not really. I wasn't gonna do, like, a YouTube video of me, like, taking a big knife and sawing off my hands. Number one, that would get you demonetized. And number two, I don't have enough thick bandages to, like, uh... Get that all patched up, you know what I mean? And yes, I mentioned the demonetization first, okay? I am aware of that. Look, doggy! Isn't it beautiful? This is my latest design! The Henshin pattern! Women often want transformation into real beauties! Henshin a go-go, baby! Hi, you got anything else in mind? Four circles! I think that's supposed to be the clover design? I don't know if it's exactly called the clover. But it's like one circle away from the Olympic rings. So I guess we'll try that next. I just wish you didn't have to go like to the other side of the this part of town every time. Okay, I can draw circles. But I think they all have to be linked together? This may not be my best work, but let's try it. Why is it that the heart is the biggest challenge? That's Those circles look a little uneven, and they're kind of messy, and somehow that worked. But the heart! That was the biggest struggle! And I bet you it had everything to do with starting from the top and not the bottom. That could very well be it. Oh my lord. Because every other design I've been getting on the first try, well, except the star. I think the star took two tries. Look, doggy. Isn't it nice? This is my latest design. The happiness pattern. It's a clover, see? Clovers bring us luck and happiness. Alright, what's your next design? Oh, I think that's the Heaven Kanji. So it's almost like the equal sign, and then you just draw like a bunch of curves on the way down on each side. Alright, so let's go and uh, get that design straightened out. I think I might be able to get it on the first try. At least I remember what it looks like, so I can't just forget, like, uh-huh, what is this again? Okay, let's start from here. Like that. Eh, it may not be perfect. No, it wasn't perfect. God damn it. Maybe the lines were a bit uneven. I don't know if there are two horizontal lines had to be equal. Is that it? Maybe the top line has to be bigger than the other one. Okay, let's try that. Why does it keep evening out? Yes! That's what it was. The top line is supposed to be bigger than the other one. 
I guess to be fair, the top line probably represents, like, the gods themselves, and therefore they reach out a bit longer, or wider, I mean to say. Or maybe I'm just talking out of my ass. <laughs> That's probably it. It's likely the latter. I'm sure somebody up there who knows a lot about Japanese culture would tell me. Look, doggy. It's quite bold, don't you think? That is my la latest design. The character that represents gods. This character can protect you from scary monsters. My mom said all that all the gods all died ages ago, though. Maybe that's why the monsters are always up to no good. Uh, about that. Thanks for always coming back to look at my pictures, doggy. Do you like drawing, too? In that case, I'll give you this as a sign of our friendship. Hey, a stray bee. Pictures have a special power, don't you think? I want to draw lots more pictures that will make people happy. Wow, I just spent an insane amount of time on this one quest, and I still got one other one to do. But I want to make it nighttime for this. I believe I gotta talk to this guy. There's no stopping me now without light in those big lanterns. I won't let you have the run of this city much longer, Hayazo. You must be taking cover somewhere nearby. Now I just have to lie and wait until he shows his face. Hmm. He's not hiding in that rock. What about these rocks? No. Okay. Where did I find another type of rock like this? I don't remember where I saw it. Oh, this one! Uh-oh, hold on! <laughs> you found me! Not bad, pal. Not bad at all. Let me introduce myself. The name's Hayazo, Master of Thieves. I was born to pick, pick pockets, you see? They say I even picked the midwife's pocket when I was born! Nice to meet ya. Oh, you have no pants. Master of Thieves? Yep, but picking pockets ain't my only skill, you know. I can run fast! Even faster than a wolf. Huh? You saying you can take us on, mister? You may be a master thief, but Furball here is a master snatcher. No matter who it is, this furry snatcher just gets the goods. Especially from sleazy thieves like you! <laughs> Think you can take something from me, do ya? Well, no one can match my vanishing act. No one ever has, no one ever will. <laughs> Mess with me and you'll eat my dust! You gonna take me on? Well? <laughs> You're a toast, Hayazo! There's no escape once Amir sets after some prey. Go ahead, give it a shot. You're no match for the skill of Hayazo, Master of Thieves. First one, then two. Get them in order. I split apart and take off in a cloud of dust. Alright, fire and slash. Okay, so, oh, there's the other one you need to slash. Got him. Well, at least it gives you the order. Oh, so I guess I have to talk to him again? Is that what it is? Where'd he go? Fiddlesticks! Oh, I just had to hit him. Oh, and I just found a watch. Uh, oh, I got stuck. Is this yours? Hello. Hmm? Hello. Oh, it's you, dog. Hello. What's that you got there? Hello. Surely it's not my precious glass watch. Hello. How in the world did you get it back from Hayazo? Hello. He must be some kind of miracle worker. Hello. That I am? Alright. I guess I have to take him on again. He's probably got more goods. Like, I don't think a Master Thief would only have one thing. 
That would be a bit of a joke. That girl ain't doing shit. Look at him. <laughs> Happy because you got good spec, are ya? Well, you ain't seen nothing yet. My vanishing act can't be beat. First one, then two. Get him in order. I split apart and take off in a cloud of dust. Oh, there's three this time. Okay, water, fire, slash. What is this guy doing? Wait, where'd the third one go? Wait, that one's not even got? Why is there a ghost here? It's just shooting lightning. The lightning's like, or the inferno's not even getting him. What is this all about? Got the first one easily. How long does this chase go? Unless you do like a whole lap around the town. Okay, now there's only this guy. Got him. How'd you do that again? And I just picked up something, whatever the hell that is. That definitely looked like something for a kid. I still have it with me, at least. So I should head over... Oh, not that way. I should head over to the uh, kimono shop. I believe I saw some kids over there. Hi. The millet dumplings. Hey, my millet dumplings! Where did you find them? Thanks for bringing them to me instead of just gobbling them up. Look at all that praise I've been getting so far. I've been pretending to be a hero defeating demons on Oni Island. Why don't you play with me? I don't mind that you're just a dog. Good, because I can't really change that myself. Well, I guess I could because I'm a goddess and all, but still. I kind of like this form. Alright, let's make it nighttime again. So I gotta deal with that thief again. I wonder how many more times. Oops. Hey, hey, hey! Happy because you got your goods back, are ya? We ain't seen nothing yet. My vanishing act can't be beat. First one, then two. Get them in order. I know. Oh, now it's four. Slash. Water. Fire. Fire. That's easy. What?! Hey, hey, hey! Well, I'll be. You got some impressive skills. Come on! That's bullshit! I hope that didn't count against me that I hit the same guy twice. Like, I'm pretty sure I aimed only at that guy. Why don't I go that way? Oh, it's gonna be like that, isn't it? Like, I'm pretty sure I aimed it only at the guy in blue. I'm sure of it. Alright, let's try this again. Oh, now it's fire first, then slash, then water, then water again. Oh, you mother! 
I did it right! I did the flame! Get him! I, I was doing it in order! I aimed at the guy that was on fire! Oh my god. Did it say I did a power slash too? Oh, that's just dumb. That's not what I wanted to do. I'm just saying. Okay, fire first. Then water. Then slash. Then fire again. Huh? Oh, wait, it was, I think it was water second. Oh, piss off. That's probably not even the worst one, either. I also don't like that there's not many of these lanterns that are on fire. I might need those. Okay. Slash, water, fire, slash. Right, now where do they go? Bitch, I didn't get the fire. I don't see him. Did they all get away? They don't show up anywhere. Please tell me I didn't lose them. Try, try to get the one on fire. Hello? Where are you? Oh my god, I, I don't see him anywhere. When you do Inferno, it actually makes it harder to see where to go next. There's a flame skin in your way. Where'd they go? I hope they didn't actually get away completely. Like, considering how big this area is, they might always be away from me. I don't think it actually works. Oh, it's daytime. Oh, and it's a fail! Oh my god, I couldn't find him! No matter what I did, it didn't work! And I could have gotten the pattern correct! God, like, unedited? This is like over 40 minutes of work! And it shouldn't be! And this is only for two quests! Two! All right, fire, slash, water, slash. Did I... Okay, I didn't get the fire one, looks like. I think it's the, you gotta slash the one on the left first. No! Oh my god, I got it the wrong order! Fudge! 
Oh my god, I hate this one so far. Jesus, this is hard. This is gonna be hard to watch, guys. I'm sorry. Please have mercy. Okay, water, fire, slash, fire. Need to find a good spot to get water on the left side. Okay, that's perfect. How did that not work? What? Are you kidding me? Water was first! Please tell me that didn't say, oh, you got the other one too. No, I didn't. I aimed directly at the water one. Oh, that's just stupid now. Like, sometimes you just get the bad positioning. Like, if water was on the right side, it's easy. Okay, water. Slash. Fire. Water. Oh, that gave me nothing. Like, I can't just create water for myself. Deluge, yes. But that would probably get everyone else. Oh, where's number two? There's number two. Now I just gotta create fire. Did I get them? Where did they go? See what I mean? That's why I hate using Inferno. Then they disappear completely. Every single time. I gotta stop using that. Now I'll bet you I'll never see him again. And I don't think he can use... Present to like keep it as nighttime, can you? Like, did I definitely lost track of where they go next? As long as I keep it from being daytime, I can still keep them in my sights, like, they'll still be in play. Where'd they go? Hello. Hello? Guys? Are you here? Where the frick are they? God, you use Inferno once, you never see him again. Are they just staying in one spot waiting for me? Well, where the hell is that one spot? Well, there is a treasure chest over here. I don't care about that right now. They're not here. Oh my god. I almost forget the order. Oh wait, there they are! That's the last one. Barely pick him out. Finally! Holy shit, Taki Mushrooms! It won't be so easy. Oh my god, there's another time. Well, I picked up whatever the hell that is. Oh my lord, that was 
an ordeal. Looks like some kind of hairpin. And I think you gotta bring that to the bar. So let's just go there now. Hi. The chrysanthemum, chrysanthemum hairpin. Hmm? Hey! That's my chrysanthemum hairpin! I spent a fortune on that thing! Someone stole it from me and I never, I've never given up on seeing it again. I don't know where you managed to come by it, but I don't know either. But I can't tell you how happy I am that you did! Thank you! Well, I suppose that means it's time. Time to tell Kiku. Time to tell her I, er, uh, um... I love her! Yeah. You do that. She better love you back, as I'm not doing that shit again. But it looks like I'm gonna have to. Because he said, I'm not gonna be easy on you next time. You weren't easy that time! Let alone this, the next time. That was four of them, and, and it was like... In terrible spots. So I kept just getting screwed constantly. Okay, it must be a different rock. Hey! No one's gotten this far against me. I can see it in your eyes. You mean business with that shock and attack of yours. You leave me no choice. You'll never catch me with my five wave vanishing net. First one, then two. Oh, great, now there's five of them. Slash. Water. Fire. Lightning! And then fire. Well, at least it goes in a clockwise pattern. Okay, now I just gotta get fire again. Okay, here's a good spot. And there's a lightning ghost, too! Oh, but then I lost sight of them. So I can use the lightning ghost or just do this. Oh wait, I, I did one extra line. I think I got him, so now it's just... No, I didn't get him! Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Hope it's just what I'm chasing. I hate to think the two of them are still active. I just heard a hopping sound. Maybe they'll show up around this way, because the track might. Oh, the fourth one is still there! How is that not getting him? How is that not getting him? I think I'm gonna have to use the ghost. I'm just not getting good accuracy on that move. Okay, that's the last one right there. Got him! Finally! <laughs> Did that one on the first try! Well, I'll be darned! To think you'd defeat my vanishing act! I got nothing else up my sleeve. But I'm glad we were able to compete. Your lightning fast skill was truly impressive. 
Holy crap. <laughs> I'm done picking people's pockets. From now on, I'm gonna be a fleet-footed detective like you. No more stealing for Hayazo, Master of Thieves. Well, except for those skills of yours. A mask. Okay, I definitely know who needs the mask. I think that was Abe over at uh, Waka's Fortress. Oh yeah, now I remember that. Alright, let's just head over there then. Oh, I get to wear the mask. Nice. Oh, too bad I can't keep it. That would have been so great. Oh well. Tis what tis. Right, let's just bring it over to him. That guard's was like, uh, huh? Why are you wearing that? Huh? That thing you're wearing. Isn't that my towel mask that was stolen? There you go. I don't need it. You brought it back for me? Oh, thank you. Really, I mean it. Eh, you look better without that silly thing. Well, how do I look? Oh, uh, not bad, I guess. As long as you're happy. Really? Anyway, I'd like to give you this to thank you for finding my mask. Oh, Street B, thank you. If you hold that bead in your hand, and wish with all your heart, I, Abe, shall come rushing to your side. Anytime, anywhere. Yeah, right. Just kidding. Now for your real reward. You know, that secret about Captain Waka I promised to tell you? Well, I've always been absolutely fascinated by Captain Waka. That's why I studied so much about him. You wouldn't believe what I found out. Try me. Okay. The Tao Troopers have been around for over 200 years. But there's no mention of any captain before Captain Waka. Pretty strange, huh? Err, I don't get it. In other words, if you look back over our 200 year history, the only captain's name that ever pops up is Captain Waka's. That would make Captain Waka over 200 years old. Now you have my attention. 200 years is nothing for someone like me, but for a human? Now that's just plain weird. There's also the matter of that magical projection device. Only he knows how to use it. He really is a mysterious figure. And I think that's all the stray beads in Saiyan, right? This looks like one for Gale Shrine. And then you probably don't have to run into another one until like the North Ryoshima Coast. And I guess there's two in Cat Call Tower. Five question marks. That must be Kamui, where we just were. And yeah, we haven't even bothered to clear out yet. You know, with all the snow. Alright, so why don't we do... I was going to end the episode real soon. However, I would very much like to go back to North Ryoshima Coast and find a... Uh, Somebody who might own that treasure box. Maybe Urashima would know. I can always check with him. <laughs> might be a good idea. I forgot to put the other thing back on. Oh well, might as well just beat up on Ogume. Just because. Even though I'm also creating my escape route. Which is not really for me. Thank you! Alright, let me through, please. Still can't do anything about that. So where would Urashima be? Right back at his house. Also, I may not need this on anymore. Let's take that off. And there you go. Alright, now all these guys will leave me alone. Sadly, I may not be able to get all the street beads in the previous areas, because I still can't slash with those giant stones and all that stuff. And I have a feeling I need to do that. Perfect. 
Where is he anyway? Is he back at his house? Or is he outside again? Oh, there he is! There you are, Booch! Looking pleased with yourself, huh? Never mind that! You know that demon island out of the sea? It disappeared in a cloud of petals! Before my very eyes! And the water dragons calmed down too! Some good's about to happen! I'm sure of it! Yeah, about that. Howdy, Pooch! Y'all make it to the Dragon Palace? I reckon you're pleased as a tick and a dog pound! Now that you're that- that awful demon island is done gone away. Oh my god, I can't read! Gone away, huh? Oh, yeah, about that. Here you go. Well, I'll be! If it ain't that treasure box I've been looking for! Y'all went to the Dragon Palace to get this for me? Uh, you might want to- not want to open that. Thank you! Thank you kindly! That time I drowned, they revived me at the Dragon Palace, see? That's why I'm stuck in a body that just won't get any older! I'll always look like a youngin', forever and ever. Meanwhile, everyone around me is getting older and older! But with this treasure box, I reckon I can return to normal! <laughs> Whew. Well, how do I look? Honey, is that really you? It sure is! Your husband's back! You're back? You finally come back to me! And I'm here to stay. I ain't going nowhere well, until he dies. I'll never leave you again, dear. And I'm just like, uh huh. I don't know I can ever thank you enough. But I want you all to have this. It ain't much, just a token. I found this pretty stone on the seabed. Brought me luck, see? Ah, Stray B, thank you. I will leave you two now. Oh. That was weird. Okay. Let me take a look at my animal tones. You know, I've been getting a lot of praise, but how much is it from animals? There's still a few hares, still some monkeys. Looks like a couple more nightingales. Foxes, boars. Doggos. Four piglets are pretty close. Deer, raccoons, mice? And apparently there's not many cats left. I wonder how many more other cats are there. Did I miss any in Cat Call Tower? I don't know. I'm pretty sure there was a nightingale over at um, City Checkpoints that I missed. So why don't I go back and get it? I think I didn't get that one? If I did get that one, whatever. It happens. Unless I don't, can't run into that until later anyway. It's probably over this way. Maybe on this side? That's just statues. Can't beat those. Can, there's something horribly wrong. Maybe over here? No, I got those. Unless they're over on the other side. Huh. There can't be many nightingales left, are there? Yeah, let me check the other side. Yeah, like maybe over this way. Well, that's right for horses. I mean, I got the horses. What about the nightingales? I don't remember seeing an animal on this side. Unless I just missed it. Oh, I hear chirping. Who that chirping at me, huh? Oh, left side. Oh, there they are! I missed those! Alright, good stuff! And that gets me, what, two praise? And how many uh, nightingales is that in total? Oh, all of them! Alright, so that animal is completely crossed off my list. And it turns out there's still three animals we haven't even found at all. 
Hmm, makes me wonder what they could be. In any case, why don't we just head back and save, and then end the episode. Because this one's been going a bit long, and a lot of it was my own fault. Because I couldn't even draw a heart to save my life. I couldn't even catch thieves to save my life. You know, especially if they're in a group of four. For some reason, that group gave me the most trouble, and not even the largest group. <laughs> That's what makes it hilarious. Alright, so let's stop here. In the next part, we'll be planning our next move of things we can do before we go back to Kamui. I suppose that double shrine over in North Ryushima Coast is on that list, too. See you, everyone. Thanks for watching.